everyone knows that the dinosaurs died off 65 million years ago and that humans never lied their eyes on them, right? The notion that humans and dinosaurs coexisted sometime in the past is a pseudoscientific and creationist belief. Well, in today's episode, I will show you proof that humans and dinosaurs did coexist and that some dinosaurs continue to exist until this day. First up, I went to the Con Historisches Museum in Vienna to see the suicide of Saul a painting from 1562 depicting dinosaurs. We'll also learn about Ta Prom, a stegosaurus rock carving in Cambodia, Babylonian depictions of dinosaurs and dragons, cave paintings of dinosaurs in Zambia, the Amazon, France, and the Grand Canyon. The Inca stones showing human encounters with dinosaurs in Peru. Dinosaurs in Roman art. Pterodactyls in the American Civil War. And not quite a dinosaur, but still supposedly long extinct. The Mastodon of Lake Michigan. And although already covered in the previous episode, sea, lock, and lake monsters, now they can be considered as dinosaurs. The Nahualito of Argentina, the Loch Ness Monster of Scotland, and especially the Mokele Membe of Congo, a still living, not yet extinct dinosaur. And it's not the only one. Stay tuned till the end to find out more. Let's get into it. What you're looking at here is a picture that I brought to the museum to show you a close-up of the painting we are just about to see. Introducing the Suicide of Saul from 1562 by Peter Bruegel. In it, you can see dinosaurs. Not only can you see dinosaurs, but you can see humans riding on top of the dinosaurs. This proves that dinosaurs and humans lived alongside each other in the past. A little bit about the image. It depicts the fateful moment when the first king of the Israelites commits suicide after losing the battle against the Philistines on Mount Gilboa. 1 Samuel 31.1-13 In his desperation, the king falls on his sword. His armor-bearer follows his example. The faithful rendering of minute details documents Bruegel's virtuoso skills as a miniaturist. He trained with Maiken Verhulst, also known as Mary Bessemers, one of the most important female artists in the Low Countries. And if you don't know, the Low Countries are Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. The dinosaur of Ta Pom Monastery, a stegosaurus bas relief from the 12th century Khmer Empire, is evidence of non-avian dinosaurs coexisting with humans. The Mushusu or Sirush depicted on the Ishtar Gate of Babylon from the 6th century shows a single straight horn in the middle of its forehead and another horn at the back. It has scales bird-like claws on the back legs and lion-like claws on the front legs. It's a dinosaur. Cave paintings of long-necked dinosaurs in Zambia 
and others in the Amazon, France, and the Grand Canyon. The Inca stones, first discovered during the Spanish conquest of 1532, depict dinosaurs and advanced technology. Who were these people? Here you can see many examples of dinosaurs in ancient Roman art. And here is one of my favorites. You're seeing American Civil War soldiers showing off their kills, which are pterodactyls. And there's not only one or two pictures, there are a lot. Enjoy. Now we're off to Lake Michigan, but not for a dinosaur. There is an underwater Stonehenge, similar to the one in England. It was discovered while searching for shipwrecks. There is a carving of a mastodon, but according to the mainline narrative, humans were not present at the time that the mastodons roamed the earth, but it's hand carved into the stone. Also worth noting is that there is another Stonehenge nearby, referred to as the other Lake Michigan Stonehenge on Beaver Island nearby. Now that my monsters from the previous episode have become dinosaurs, here is the plesiosaur from Argentina known as Nahualito which is the same kind of dinosaur found in Loch Ness, known as Nessie. Here is my all-time favorite dinosaur, Mokele Membe from the Congo, a living dinosaur. And as promised, here is evidence of another not yet extinct dinosaur, a pterodactyl. Check out this footage from 2015. Make of it what you will. For a more in-depth look at the Nahualito, the Loch Ness Monster, and the Mokele Membe, please check out my Sea, Lock, and Lake Monsters episode. The link is in the description. to like and comment as it's the best way to support what I do. As always, I'm not saying these stories are 100% true. I'm just telling a story and you can believe what you want. Uncovering the truth, one conspiracy at a time. See you next week on the White Rabbit YouTube channel.